Okay, we are joined by tonight's team captain and Bud Light man of the match, Christian Pulisic. Christian, tonight was the fifth time in his career that he's had three goal contributions in a single match. Also joined by midfielder Weston McKinney. Weston has played in all nine of the CONCACAF Nations League matches for the United States. His fifth and sixth goals tonight in CONCACAF Nations League play puts him first on the U.S. list with six goals ahead of Jordan Morris. We'll begin with questions and start with Henry Bushnell from Yahoo. Thanks, Michael, and hey, Wes and Christian. Um, since I've got both of you, I've got to ask, um, would either of you be willing to explain the choreographing of that celebration um, and if there was any uh, significance behind it? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, uh, to be completely honest, we talked about it, but we're not, we're not there yet ready to share what it means. It's just an inside thing between, between us, so maybe if it happens more often, then we'll come out and say why. Fair enough. And if I could just ask another question then, um, how much fun was tonight? It seemed like you guys were having fun out there. Was it fun? Yeah, definitely a good time. Obviously, we love scoring goals, and uh, you know that that's what we do. So um, obviously, good score line, uh, positive result for the team. So we definitely enjoyed ourselves out there. We'll go to Ryan Tomich from Goal.com. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Wes, and this one's for you just because – I feel like it'll be easier to get you to hype Christian up than it'll be for Christian to hype himself up here. When you're watching the stuff he's kind of doing like in the first half and kind of just taking guys on and, and really controlling the game as a teammate, what are your kind of like reactions to that? And how do you kind of make sure to kind of keep a guy like that in that zone and, and keep him creating the way he was in that first half? Yeah, Christian wants to hear it, so I figure I'll give it to him. I mean, to be completely honest, it's it's what I expect of him. and uh, And, you know, for him to be able to do it consistently and, and be back and be in that zone, um, it always helps the team out in the best way because, you know, he's one of the players on our team that, that can create things and, uh, and can make things happen. So just to see him having fun um, and just playing his game and, and with the confidence that he has, um, it's amazing. So hopefully we can uh, look forward to many more like that. We'll go to Sanjay Sujan Fakumar. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, guys, for doing this. Um, this questions for Wes. Wes, uh, so Anthony alluded to this um, when he was talking about where Luca played tonight. Um, what was it like to play next to another holding midfielder? And uh, also, what's it been like to play with Tyler in a double pivot at Leeds? And is that something that you guys have talked about translating to the national team? Have you, have you talked to Anthony about that as well? Thanks. That, not going to lie, that question was all over the place, but I'm going to try my best. Um, no, so you, the first question was about playing with Luca, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, it's, it's nice. I mean, we have a lot of uh, midfielders like um, Luca, Eunice, um, Johnny, um, uh, Tyler, all, all types of midfielders that, you know, can fill in and step in the role easily. Um, and it, it was comfortable. I mean, we have a good understanding. I've known Luca for, you know, just as many years as I've known Christian. Um, so, I mean, it was, it was natural. It, it felt good. Um, and as far as Tyler, uh, devastating what happened, obviously, but, um, playing with him at Leeds and then, you know, talking about playing together, it, it's something that, you know, it doesn't happen often, but, uh, it, it was looking forward to it. Obviously we'll have to see what happens. Uh, moving forward, but um, yeah, hopefully he recovers quick and, and can get back with us soon. Next is Paul Tenorio from The Athletic. Thanks, Michael. Um, this one's for Christian. Uh, obviously, the expectations going into this game were for you guys to get a win. How, how crucial was it, though, to, to kind of get that early goal and to end up putting in a performance like you did today to make it decisive and to start off not just this window with a win like this, but the next cycle going forward to, to have this strong of, a, of an outing in the first game. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. It, it gives us a lot of confidence. Uh, we knew that they weren't just going to lay down and, you know, let us beat us, let, let us beat them. And uh, that's that's the, why the early goal was important. You know, we, we came out really strong uh, with a lot of energy and, and just kind of put it to them right away. So I think they were kind of, you know, surprised by that. And, uh, yeah, it took our goals well and, uh, you know, just a great all-around performance. Definitely gives us confidence, and now we want to go and, uh, you know, we want to win this uh, this next one against El Salvador. And, uh, yeah, that's all. We'll go to Kyle Vaughn from Sporting News. 
Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. Um, Christian, you talked yesterday that you're always presented with new challenges in these road games. The, the seven goals tonight, the most that the U.S. has ever scored away from home, ever. For you, where does that performance rank in your international career, and what was it about tonight's game that you just decided, ah, this one's, this one's mine. I, I'm going to take this one on. I mean, I didn't decide it was mine. Uh, it's my job to help create and score goals and assist for the team. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I, I I don't know. I I don't I don't think uh, it was an important game for sure. I, I don't rank it as like you know one of our best performances ever. I think we we put in a solid performance, got the job done, and uh, yeah. Go to Jonathan Tanawong from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Thank you, Michael, and congratulations, guys, on the win. I want to ask about a couple of the guys who played behind you on the back line tonight and. Austin Trusty and Mark McKenzie, what you thought of their performances? I know that they're guys you've known for a while, uh, but this was Austin's first senior national team cap and, and what that meant to you guys as well. Thank you. Uh, um, you know, as far as Mark McKenzie, I think he, he stepped in and, and, you know, did what, what, uh, what he needed to do. Uh, same with Austin Trusty. Obviously, it's always a big deal um, coming in and getting your first cap. Uh, and as you saw, I mean, we, we let up one goal, but at the end of the day, we came here to get three points, and I think they con contributed really well um, and, and, you know, kept the back line uh, nice and tight and winning the first duels and, and not making it easy for them to, to just play over the top. So I think for both of them, you know, hats off. And, uh, and yeah, good job. We will take one more question and go to Andrew Jones. Thanks, Michael. Just for both of you, just your thoughts on Brian Reynolds coming in in the lineup and how he did tonight towards that, as well as just at the many instances of fields that you have to deal with in CONCACAF. I was dealing with on the field tonight down at Grenada. Yeah, I thought Brian was uh, was good, was really good tonight. Um, yeah, I haven't got to you know play with him too much in the national team, but I'm impressed. I think he has a really good... Uh, yeah, just good physicality, and uh, yeah, he looked good, you know, running up up, up and down the line today, uh, defended well, um, and very athletic, and uh, yeah, had a good performance, um, and uh, yeah, the, these these games are always are always challenging. Um, it was a really, really nice scene, though, tonight in Grenada, for sure. I thought, like, uh, you know, field not bad, the stadium was, was beautiful, um, nice, uh, cool little atmosphere, so I think we definitely uh, enjoyed ourselves here.